the Scots was the surprise of the century. I let the weeds grow on the lawn so we can test out these new weed pullers. Last video, we used these and some others and the Gardena was the winner. So now let's check these out. We've got the Grandpa's Weeder by high request from everyone in the comments. We got this Weed Ninja, which looks pretty cool. It's got this thing like pops out like halfway. This Scots one that literally just pushes this out from the nails here. This one, which is a lot like this one but maybe a little nicer this thing which also came with a wooden handle version so like you get under the weed and you pull it out and then this for sidewalks and cracks but i'm not sure if anything will do better than this again starting with grandpa's weeder actually comes with instructions on the back which is very cool center over the weed foot pad blah 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 push your foot on the foot pad lever and push grandpa's weed into the ground around the weed remove your foot and lean the handle towards the foot pad lever and out comes the wheat root and all so root and all let's try that out this looks like a nice one Let me put it right there and lean back holy mackerel that is actually really good damn i think you guys were right so it did rain the last couple of days. All right, first one from Grandpa's Weeder. Uh, this actually might beat the Gardena. So let's try a couple more. See if that wasn't just luck. Uh, this one looks like a good one. And pull. Uh, yeah, that didn't go farther than the root. Or the root didn't go farther than the tool. All right, so that's the second one. And what about this little bitsy, itsy bitsy one? Uh, wait, where'd that weed go? There it is. Yeah, see, not the full root. Pretty good, but not like amazing. All right, Grandpa's Weeder, first three. One really good one. So, so bad. Only one longer than the length of the tool. All right, next up, this Scott's one. This looks awful, and I can't wait to try it. We got instructions here. Insert. The instant weed remover is a fast way to remove stubborn weeds. They won't go away after all your hard work. Blah, 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 blah. Just a simple push, twist, and pull will easily remove the largest weeds you encounter. Okay, this looks like a nice... Yeah, let's make sure we're getting the full root. Yeah, you see that? Okay. Simple push twist and that'll remove it and up amazing what a great tool uh, all right you got twist more maybe twist and lift the pop out is nice and uh, let's see we have the exact length of the tool, which isn't too impressive. Okay, what if we try the lift while going halfway through the spin? Still, length of the tool or less. But the hole is nice and small. got that got the full weed that is a full pass on that one we need to find a bigger weed now all right this looks like a big boy oh wow wow great job here let's Get the soil off. It's 
So I guess you need to do the twist and lift at the same time. And then it works really well. Wow, that's a new world record. Did this Scots one just like win the whole game? Jeez Louise. Okay. Compared to grandpa's, compared to the length of the tool, wow. Okay, so that was three on that one. All right, let's try the weed ninja. Step one, no, step on the weed, extract the root, eject the root. No mention of twisting. So uh, let's see how that goes. I feel good about this one because it's like, it's taking a nice core out. Okay, let's start with something small. Okay, this one right here. I feel like we're gonna cut all the leaves though. Then we pull it out. Oh. Okay, cut the leaves and then... So we have a nice core, which is good. And... These leaves got chopped. And where is the... There, that's what we... That's what we left with. Not the most impressive. First try. Here's a big one, real big one. Okay, that's right on it. And, bah. Should we twist it out? All right, I think what this does is slice through the root. So there's put a whole bunch of root down there somewhere. So even though it takes out a nice core, it's too like stabby on it. And then you don't get the little leaves. So you're gonna have like these leftover leaves on your lawn, which I don't know if they'll, if they'll do any damage or not, but okay, there's a second one. Maybe this is better for baby weeds. Let's find a nice baby weed. All right, let's make it nice and easy to get, okay. There it is. Here, let's even let's even load the flower up in the middle. Pull right up, I guess. Yeah, it looks like we sliced the bottom of the weed as well again let's try one more big one all right this one's huge ah actually did pretty well if we were perfectly on target i think that was the bottom of the weed of the root Yeah, I don't know, I don't like this one. It does too much chopping up. I feel like you lose a lot of the weed. Did we slice it like here? See, I think like, I feel like we're just slicing weeds because they don't all go perfectly straight down. So, so far, Grandpa's pretty good. Scott's really good, look how long that one is. This one, not a fan of at all. All right, so now we got Three chances to outdo all those with the Gardena weed puller. All right, quickly onto the hand portion. Let's try these two really quickly. This one I think we're supposed to, okay, this one here will be easy. We just get under it and uh, where's the root? I heard it snap, so that's not good. Everyone telling me just use a knife in the comments, you're all wrong, look. Awful, okay, let's try this one here. I heard it snap already. This whole side approach isn't, it's not good. Let's try one more. Uh, let's try a different section maybe. Okay, here's a little weed. Mm. 
look how much grass you're ripping up. Ah, got the full weed there. That's nice. Let's try it on clover. I think I have a little patch somewhere. Here. Okay, let's find where the clover comes. And let's see if we can pull out the clover root without pulling out all my grass. That's doing a good job for clover, but I still think I like that other $5 one more because it was more like pointy and you can get in there more than this. But actually this did a great job. Look, we got all that clover out, actually. It was like three clover plants. So for clover, yeah. Now let's try this one here on a weed. I think the theory is you get under it and you pull up like that. All right, this looks like a weed. Hey, got the whole root. This thing's not bad. I mean, it, it tears up your grass pretty good, but we got the whole root. Okay, let's try again. Uh, Okay, this one right here. I can see it. Okay, let's get in it. Ah, oh, I think it snapped it. Yeah, it snapped it. Not not the greatest. Can I? That one will come back. Let's try it on some clo. Uh, let's try one more weed and then clover. Maybe we've got to dig it in a couple more times to get really under it. Uh, nah. Nah, I would not recommend this one for weeds either. But for clover, I bet you it's going to kill. Look at that. Look at like, the whole clover root up. In one try. Great job. Okay, let's try another clover. We got another patch right here. Let's just shoot it in aimlessly. Just start pulling. Yeah, that pulled up a bunch of grass, but I guess we did get a bunch of clover with it. I guess what's the point of having grass if there's clover there too, right? I mean, it separates it all right. Okay, now that we have a little side gap, let's pull up more clover. Yeah, I think it's doing a pretty good job for clover. Yeah. I'd say maybe even easier than the other one, but it takes out a lot of grass along with it. It's pretty easy to separate and put the grass back. Oh, look at that clover we just pulled out. Okay, what if I pull up on the clover a bit? I guess I loosened up so much that it's all pulling out on its own now. Actually, yeah, that's, that's nice. Okay, here's a little more clover. And then let's just keep pulling it. Yeah, for clover, both these are great. Again, I would highly recommend. You know, it kind of messes up your grass. What's the point of grass if it's covered in clover? All right, all I could really find was this broomstick. So uh, let's test that out here. See if we can get all these weeds out. It's not like really getting everything out. Let the wheels keep it a nice like distance to get a lot out. Uh, that was really in there. 
and then I guess we can turn it around to the broom portion and see how well it actually did. Okay, let's see if it'll get this out. Ah, actually pretty good for just like cleaning it up quickly and being pretty ergonomic. All right, keeping this in my repertoire. All right, so now we got three chances to outdo all those with the Gardena weed puller. So, uh, which one's a good one? Which one do you guys like? This is like a nice big weed. Uh, where's the root? There it is. Boom, boom, boom. Nice core, and we have, oh, almost the full root. Looks like some of it got sliced off by the Gardena, which is very slicey as well. And that was just the length of the tool. So that's, that's pretty good. That's like a pass. All right, this one looks good. Uh, and then we got another one longer than the length of the tool and a nice easy core, which makes it easy to fill the ground back up with. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, here's a good one. It's got a little flower attached to it, too. Where's the root? There it is. And let's see, did we get the full root on this one? Yes, we did. All right, so. Obviously not the longest, but this is like three for three for consistency and very easy ground to fill back in. Let's see if we can find a monster one and see if we can get a longer. All right, let's see if we can find a monster root so we can match this length. Because none of those weeds have been big enough to get the world record. This one looks like it'll do it. Oh, oh, oh. Y'all, see, like, how are you going to argue with results like this? Three for three, at least the length of the tool, full root, and the fourth one is even longer. So let's give these two one more chance to see if they can keep up with the consistency of Gardena. We're looking for monster roots. All right, I think we found our monster. Let's make sure we get a nice grip on it and in and fall back oh the twist did not work it was not expecting that all right did it loosen it up enough if i pull it with my hand i uh, i think that would have that would have been good but we need to do a mulligan because i had to pull my hand to get that this one is huge We did not. I heard it snap. No, not, not as consistent. We'll try one more to give grandpa's a chance. All right, here we go. Oh God, I got my lawnmower cable that's attached to this. All right, so let's mulligan that again. If it doesn't do this one, we're out of mulligans. There you go, there you have it. Uh, and it's hard to pull out. It's just not as good as the Gardena. Is it better than the Scots? We're gonna do a couple more pulls and find out. Because if that Scots is actually that good, that's pretty wild. So these are the mulligan ones and this is the fourth. Come on, Scots. This one's maybe a monster. Damn, Scots. This one's pretty good. More than the length of the tool, small hole, easy to fill back up. I think I think this is beating 
grandpas. Maybe not for ergonomics, but. Okay, this is a, this is a big one. It's got to be the biggest one. So push in, twist and pull out. Wow, all right. Yo, honestly, I think for the price, for the availability and consistency, I think this guy is actually going to win. I think Scott's is actually going to win part two weed puller contest of 2023. Okay, now let's find another monster to see if Gardena can catch Scott's. All right, this is a monster. This is huge. Absolutely massive. Oh, okay. So here, here, well, here's what happened. Look, it snapped. And I don't know if that's from a full 360 or from the tool. But, um this is very sharp and i think scott's gonna win i'm gonna have this one more redemption to try to beat the scots let's try a half turn and lift instead of a full turn oh okay so there it is i think we've discovered the new ultimate technique it's half turn and lift not turn then lift not lift not turn, 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 then lift. Half turn and lift. Okay. Gardena weeds. Scott's weeds. Let's go to the let's go to the tiebreaker. I feel like this weed and this weed are about similar. So let's start off. Winner of this is the winner of the 2023 part two. Oh, 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 Here's the Gardena. And here is the Scots. Okay, Gardena, Scots. So, Gardena got slightly more than the tool. Scots got a lot more than the tool. And if we compare the lengths, they're, they're dead even. I think we got a tie. Okay, so discovering that new technique where we twist halfway while lifting, I want to try this one out again. Uh, let's see if we can find this root or this, the base. And so we'll push this in and then twist and lift. Ah, still not as much root. Looks like it pinches it. <laughs> I almost put the wrong part in. Okay, let's try again. All right, right here. Mm. And turn and lift. Uh, okay. Twist and lift. Nah. Scott's would have completely pulled that out. Or did I actually get the full root there? No, I think I pulled out the grass root and this was snapped. Okay, one more shot at redemption for this one. Someone in the comments also said, just push it down and don't twist it. Oh, maybe that's the technique for this one. Okay, let's see if we can, but it did snap it. So let's see if we can do better. with this one here. Okay, we push down and no twist. Push down, keep the pressure back on it. Nah, see? 
Still gone. Still gone. We can try one more. Push it down all the way. And I'll pull back on this to make sure it's nice and tight. And we'll pull up real slow. Oh yeah, that actually works well that way. Okay, now we need to prove our theory by doing it one more time. Look at that, look at that. All right. So we push down and then really down, pull back up on this and pull up nice and slow. Oh, what do you know, full root again. Or is that a full root or is that a slice? Oh, I think it's a full root. Okay, I'm still not sure, so let's find. Okay, here's, a, here's one that had a little flower going, which is gonna spread more weeds for next year's video. Push down. Push down more, even more, pull back on this. Nah, couldn't get the whole one. It's good, but it's maybe not the best. Looks like this got sliced up by this. I need to, I need to learn more. Okay right around this. And our, we're just gonna keep a little pressure here and pull up slowly. Ah, hey. This one does work pretty well. Put it on. Push down super hard into the ground and then don't touch this and just pull back. Maybe on a bit of an angle. No, I think I heard the snap there. Ah, pretty good, but yeah, still snap. Okay, so this one is redeemed, but still not perfect. And my back is absolutely killing me from using it. Maybe my technique was wrong all along. Because that pulled out more than everyone else. Okay, let's try it on another one. Down, twist and pull up. No, that one, that one I missed. Twist and lift. That was okay, but not all the way. All right, that should be a good one for the twist and lift. It's about the flower. Let's put these spikes around it perfectly. Still chopped it up so I think it'll grow back, but it looks like the twist and lift method works really well instead of twisting then lifting or twisting too much or not twisting at all. All right, let's give the Fiskers one more shot. This one has no twisting at all, which I guess would be better for your back. Yeah, still trash, in my opinion. I got like no root there. And look how much of a hole it took out. It's just big, sloppy, messy hole. Let's try again. Yeah, just the size of the tool and then a snap. So still not a fan of this style pullback.
Unless it's the grandpa's, that one worked well. All right, so there you have it with the new technique of twisting and lifting at the same time. This one did a lot better. That one still kind of sucked. This one with the different technique where you just lift up did well. The Gardena twist and lift absolutely killed, especially with consistency. This thing sucked because it always chopped the root. The Scots was the surprise of the century by pulling out so much more with the twist and lift at the same time. And then the grandpas that everyone was raving about just did pretty all right. Not amazing, but a good, decent job. So thanks for watching. Let me know what I did wrong. Let me know which ones I should try next. Leave a comment below on what else I should test out, what I'm doing wrong, what I can do better. And if you want to send me a weed puller for next video, hit me up in the comments below. Thanks for watching.